Hello and welcome to my channel Green Lion Goddess Tarot. What weird weather today. It's sunny but it's also raining. It's just like I don't know what it's meant to be but interesting weather. So this is the reading for the 3rd of May. Let's see Pluto is going retrograde and I do actually have another reading that is coming out. So around that and around the square that Pluto is made, making to Venus. So check that video out. The link will be floating around somewhere at the end of this. So let's see what's coming in for the 3rd of May. I kind of feel positive about this energy though. It feels like there could be some intense things of like crisis points or things coming to a head if you are really super affected by the Pluto Venus square. Some of us may not be. But it feels like something good because Venus is in her home sign of Taurus. Something good could come out of it or better could come out of it. Speaking of something good coming in, I can see little Miss Stella. She may jump, jump up any moment, but we'll see. So what is coming in? Here she is for the 3rd of May. Hello, Stella. How are you? She's going, look at this rainy old day, hey? 3rd of May. What is coming in for the 3rd of May? Okay. Nine of Pentacles. The Four of Cups. The Two of Pentacles. Bit of balancing, juggling act, but in comes the Wheel of Fortune. That was the f actually, strangely, a feeling I was getting was a lot of Jupiter. I was like, I'm feeling good about a choice that's coming in. And the Nine of Wands. We did see that there was a, a this kind of like a choice about a direction that you're heading in or some kind of big choice that you're weighing up here. With Jupiter coming in, it's like you might be feeling a lot, a lot better about it or more positive. It's much more of an optimi optimistic energy with the Wheel of Fortune. But this choice could definitely, <laughs> it's around this Wheel of Fortune type energy. So it could mean that you're at a turning point or it could mean that this could bring in some kind of really positive change or expansion of some sort. So I feel like, yeah, it's it's like your the soul weariness of the nine of wands is this is the wounded warrior, so tired, but at the same time it's like putting those challenges behind you. We've got the two nines here. So it's kind of like you're almost at this end point if there is like a major choice or solution or uh, decision or you know just what direction am I, am I heading in this feels like I'm oh, so close now to actually feeling like okay it's all coming together or it feels right in some way so even though there's been a little bit of like potentially funky emotions around it or not sure about what's on offer or weighing things up or working out how this is all going to work in some way I'm feeling really positive. I'm re really feeling positive that there is a choice that comes in that. Um... Can we sit down, Stelly? Stelly's going. Okay, uh, a choice that's coming in that uh, feels like it feels good next to the lovers and the wheel of fortune you know th these cards the nine of wands the nine of pentacles the four of cups and the two of pentacles they're all our little fears and doubts or the things that have been stirred up within us and not sure and all the kind of more smaller human parts of ourselves and then these big major arcanas are coming in here she is back again um and they're saying look from a soul's perspective this choice is something that is bigger than what you're seeing or experiencing in front of you. Those little things that are being stirred up, there's a bigger picture here. This could actually be really good, this choice or this direction, um, the thing that you want to choose. And so next to the Wheel of Fortune, this is a really, really positive time to make a really great choice that could bring a wonderful expansion, could really bring some change that you're looking for at this moment in time. So really strong messages from soul is to embrace some of the good opportunities and the, the opportunities that can lead to these new pathways or new directions in front of you. <laughs> Stella is so cute. So, you know, she's come back twice a bit like the She's done a bit of a Gemini, <laughs> doing things twice, like the lover's card. But she's like, I'm coming back for some pats. Wasn't happy with the first time around. And it may be this sense that it's like, this feels very much like it's Mercury going, you know, Mercury is now direct as we know, but it's traveling over the points that it went retrograde over. And especially those points were very much highlighted in that eclipse-like energy. 
And now it feels like we're starting to gain the insights and the clear direction as to how things can come together and move forward and how uh, a choice can make a really positive impact on your life. And so it feels like things could be heading in the right direction. It's just there's all these like, whoa, I don't know. But, you know, with the Wheel of Fortune and the Nine of Pentacles and the Lover's Card, you know, this choice could actually lead to some quite significant abundance as well, or at least a sense of there's some kind of finalization that is close or it's getting closer to being finalized in some way that can bring a sense of I'm putting the challenges behind me and I'm feeling a little freer and more independent. So these are the things that <laughs> we've got in the middle of the Two of Pentacles, which is about, you know, the waves of emotion that are coming in and juggling act and balancing all these energies that are around at this moment in time. But I feel like you're very skillfully, there's an opportunity here to very skillfully navigate through it. Once you start looking at the bigger picture and listening to the the bigger story as opposed to just getting caught up in some of those smaller details or reactions and responses, what is the bigger thing that's actually happening here for you, the bigger picture energy? And that's kind of what the soul energy is saying. You can get caught up in, you know, he, he said, she said, they said, whatever. And, you know, now I'm feeling like this about a situation, but there's, you know, something bigger at play here. So very significant choice that we saw this yesterday as well. And yeah, definitely some very, very important and potent choice points that could actually make a really positive change if, you know, we are in the right space that it does feel like there's challenges around getting to that space or getting to the you know that that this is actually I can make this choice or this is the right choice but it feels like you know slow and steady we're getting there closer than what we think so that is the reading for the 3rd of May thank you very much I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your day and please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. Love to read your comments and find out what's going on for you. And yeah, check out my Pluto retrograde reading. It's just a general reading for everybody. It's not science specific and ask a few questions about how we can move past some of the energy blocks that we might be experiencing at this time. So a little bit of tarot advice in there as well. So check that out and take care.